Anyone else notice how search engine results have gone to shit lately? Lately, it feels like the internet has been completely flooded with the low quality, low value content for profit. Like 15 years ago, if you Googled video camera SD card recording stops, you'd probably find some useful information about SD card specs and how file systems and video buffers work. I know this because I did it as a young videographer. I picked up a lot of knowledge about the world that way. But repeat the same search today and you get 50 generic SEO friendly guides repeating the same shallow bordering on useless information. If your video keeps stopping, it may be a problem with the SD card. So try a different one. Ah yes, very helpful. Any source that actually does go deeper into it and provide useful insight gets buried in the noise. By the way, the solution to my SD card problem was actually pretty cool. I'll put it in the description or something. This is called information pollution. Over the past decade, we've hustled and grind set it our way into everyone churning out maximum content all the time, regardless of whether they know what they're talking about. And at the same time, the algorithms that rule our lives have become experts in prioritizing appearance and clickability over quality and truth. The result is an attention capitalist internet filled with endless regurgitations of the same shallow consumer-friendly ideas. An internet where true depth and expertise is hard to find. For example, I didn't even bother doing any research for this video. I barely know what I'm talking about. There's definitely cool research on this subject by very smart people. However, there's no economic incentive for me to actually research it. The algorithm doesn't care. If this video gets five Five million likes, I will do research and make a better video. Signifiers of quality. Throughout human history, we have grappled with the problem that it's very difficult to recognize abstract concepts like quality and truth. As a result, we've come to rely on indirect signifiers to determine whether things are in fact high quality. And this is baked into the way we experience the world at a neurochemical level. This is why companies spend trillions of dollars on branding instead of just delivering a good product and being done with it. This is why our primate brains believe that someone who speaks confidently into a camera is correct regardless of whether what they're saying makes sense. You know how recipes on the internet always start with a 500 paragraph essay about the author's entire life story and how this meal reminds them of the dinners their grandma used to make in their childhood farm home in Wisconsin. Yeah, that used to be a signifier of quality. It's how cookbook writers would personalize and brand their recipes, imbuing them with story and meaning beyond the ingredients themselves. It's how they demonstrated that they cared about what they were doing. Of course, now that we have millions of food bloggers churning out these faux sentimental dissertations for profit, we're coming to see them as shallow and irrelevant. Just one more obstacle standing between you and your sweet South Carolina style ribs. AI will wreck us. So now we've trained all these AIs to emulate the signifiers of quality instead of the quality itself. Though to be fair to the AIs, we've trained a lot of humans to do that too. And that's pretty bad because we live in a society that rewards the aforementioned churning out of shallow useless content. Previously, if a company wanted to look competent about SD cards, they'd have to at least put in the effort of hiring a human to write their generic information polluting SEO articles. And this puts some bounds on the amount of information that they could realistically pollute. Now with AI, even that barrier to entry is removed, allowing anyone to publish infinite amounts of useless content on demand. I think a lot about this comment I saw on Reddit one time. The future of email. Human writes down bullet points. AI expands bullet points into paragraphs of professional corporate speak. AI on the other side summarizes those paragraphs back into bullet points for a human to read. And it raises the question, who is all this for? Why are we doing it? Why does every person need to build their own website showcasing their personal brand instead of just being competent and kind? Why does every company need to publish article after article, racking up search engine rankings just to prove that the product they're selling is good? Why do we spend millions of GPU hours teaching machines to automate these things that don't matter? Things that are only shallow signifiers of quality whose value comes purely from our cultural memory of the fact that they used to take care and effort to to create.
So anyway, this is where I'm structurally supposed to put a nice conclusion or call to action. But I don't know, man. I think we're done for and we should just give up. If you have hope, share it with me in the comments. Oh look, it's got a new leaf. Fucking plants, man. Take two. Fuck.